Welcome to the Stock Babies, gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. Far beyond because there's licorice in my scotch. <laughs> there is no licorice in my scotch. Oh shit. My that... Lonely has a first name. It's S C O T C H. Remember, kids, never to mix your beer with your scotch. No, that's stupid. Pass yeah. That's Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams? Which one? The one right there. <laughs> I got it. My Samuel Adams. Oh. Yeah, anyway, it's yours. <laughs> yeah, it's over here. It's empty already. That's you learning how to pound, pounding hard, hard pounding. <sighs> pounding, pounding, pounding <laughs> hard. Nah. Anyway, so <laughs> how do I say this? We're getting a new Mortal Kombat movie. We're getting a new Mortal Kombat movie. For all the people who are still sad that um dum, dum, that dum, the Highlander dum, was not part two, I don't know. Dum, 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 dum. Mortal Com Kombat. What was that? You know, you can't say the real music in the thing, because if I do, then it's... How can you say the real thing for, um, for... You can't. You physically can't. You can't. You can't do it. No, I, I mean, I'm just hoping you guys understand what I was trying to get at. I mean, you could actually imitate it, because they'll know it's imitations. Like, you can, you can go... No, 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 you can't. You can't. Delete, 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 delete. That's how you do it. Anyway, Shapiro. so we're getting we're yeah, Shapiro. <laughs> uh, so we're getting we're getting a new new Mortal Kombat movie. I like how I just, just randomly jumped into that shit. Mortal so Kombat just movie. just recently announced. Okay, you know, so today's episode we're gonna be talking about video game movies. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. It's a video game podcast, but we can talk about movies because video game movies, you know, thing, you know. Uh, well, let me tell you first about what I've learned about this new Mortal Kombat movie. What? You know, it's it's a reboot first of all. Okay. Reboot, so it's not a sequel. You're not gonna get no CGI uh, annihilation characters here. Okay, good because you know the fact. <laughs> God damn it! The fact that um, that Connor McCloud was not in part two pissed me off. Mm. I still kind of like that one actor dude though. I, I like him too. Yeah, has I like him too. Voice. I don't know his name. He was cool. I so like I like I liked him in the movie, but I'm still pissed off that he was not in there. The highlight oh, was yes. not part two. Oh yes. Fucking Christopher Lambert. I love that you remember his name. I should totally forgot it. Christopher Lambert. I'm Christopher Lambert. I was the one. <laughs> There's a movie of where Yes. He has that like, hey. Can, I, don't know, I can't even do it because that's, that was almost more snake than... That, that's what a... What, that's the 80s Frenchman. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Danger Vols. That's, yeah, that's, that's called uh, the Man snake... Man. The, 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 the also snake plus skinny. He's like, someone's going to copy me one day. <laughs> right? No, okay, so the Mortal Kombat movie coming out sometime, some random year in the near future. In the year, you know, it's, it's gonna be a reboot, you know, you're gonna get such classic characters as Cole Turner. Who? who? You know, that struggling widowed boxer who cares about his young daughter more than anything in life. Is that a character from Mortal Kombat? No. That's actually a character who seems to be made for this movie. Oh. And not only that, but apparently Raiden's gonna be a 14-year-old boy. Of course he is. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Sounds like video game movie freaking movies. How the fuck are you gonna get Christopher Lambert to be 14 years old? I don't understand this. How the fuck do you make Goombas into giant dinosaur-like creatures? We both know that's a good movie. Any fake-ass person who says GoldenEye is the greatest game ever and Mario Bros. is the worst movie ever can go just hop on a spider's penis. All right, so because of this randomness of freaking Mortal Kombat new movie, let's, let's talk about some stuff, some of the cheesiest weird movies that we've seen because the 90s was okay. full of such great fucking games. Yes, but well, let's just, just really... Let's well, well, just hop back into this. 14-year-old boy. Yes. He's a 14-year-old boy. Oh, it must be a, a modern fucking Hollywood flick. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 you fuckers should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> now to the 90s where people didn't diddle other people. Yeah, you know? they totally didn't diddle anything except making Mario and Luigi brothers and one is Mexican and the other one is a freaking French. That's the brothers. I'm talking about the actors, though. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah, one's an Englishman and one's a Mexican. He's Puerto Rican, actually. Puerto Rican. Damn, John Licozamo's fucking favorite fan of the pest that was a funny first movie. of all we we all we, love the we, pest we all love john Licozamo, especially in land of the dead everybody spawn dude root. spawn spawn he was a clown he was, a, he, was he literally turned into a puerto rican he, clown and, uh, and he fucked with that one actor uh, got his name he was also in john wick actually he yeah. wasn't john wick he was in john wick oh that's awesome you seen that movie. No. Uh, you know, it's small little, little I haven't seen any wicks recently. Yeah, no, no wicks. No, no wicks. wicks. You need to watch that, though. I gotta see some you wicks. Know, because they put him in Payday. Look, see, there's our game connection. Uh, uh. 
like, first of all, you're not supposed to put the connection. What you're supposed to do is make the connection extremely obvious and pretend that you sm sound smarter while trying to think to a, uh, to no! a conclusion. Mm, That's how you're no. supposed to do it. Mm, no. Nope. Jack Horseman. Mm, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, no. Anyway, fucking, um, yeah. So we're, we're okay, so I'm not goofing around. Okay, be, so. I know, but there's gonna be the one guy who's actually hipster who watches what? this shit. Gonna be, hey, wait a minute. I think you're talking shit about someone. Right. The Argentinians. <laughs> no. Leave the Argentinians alone. No, no, do no such fucking thing. <sighs> anyway, 90s movies. So, so 90, 90s game movies. <laughs> Alright, so this is. Okay, so the whole Mortal Kombat thing that's mm -hmm. going on right now isn't anything new. I mean, we had Super Mario Brothers movie. Mm -hmm. First video game movie, which is possibly not true. Probably not. No, but you know, so you, you know, it, they completely changed that up. I mean, hell, Koopa was freaking Dennis Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> he was Dennis Hopper. And there's nothing wrong with that. And nothing wrong with that. Monkey! Alright. <laughs> Alright, you know, things, a power zapper was an actual freaking the cannon, freaking was an actual gun. They jumped really high because of machines. Yeah, I mean, hey, fuck it. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna ground it in reality, might as well, right? I mean, the thing, again, I'm gonna go back to this, this damn fucking movie. You know, a lot of gamers were, were really ragging on this movie. I mean, they're really pissed off, you know. By the way, I have to cut off that <laughs> joke I said about the R word, ragging. Oh, yeah. Um, they're really pissed off about this movie because it was not faithful to the, the you know, to the damn game. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. To, to this... <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say because nowadays, I mean, like, you could easily look over. You could look at it, you could laugh. I know, You're like, in, like in, a, in a nutshell. But you gotta understand what I'm saying, though. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, but the then, source I mean, material. It's, a, you know, it's honestly, an Italian going to, f to fucking tubes and, okay, and killing you know, animals you wanna, left and right. You wanna know the crazy thing, though, dude? Is me, you, and every other gamer nowadays, at least, not every other gamer, but at least around our age, watch that shit with goggles, dude. Mm -hmm. We're like sitting there, we're sitting there like, hey, this is a freaking Mario. You gotta remember, dude. When this one came out, Mario 3, maybe barely no, Super Mario about, World was coming out, I mean, there was really barely any. No, I'm talking about our generation bitching. I mean, yeah, but that, when, that's I a mean, dumb thing. when you sit there and complain about it, I mean, Mario didn't even really get a detailed character-ish thingy until 64, really. No, it's, it's it. not that. It's just the fact that people were bitching about it mm -hmm. because of that. I mean, come on. I mean, you, you know what, you as know, a movie, it's pretty good, you know? You know what's one that people need to start to actually bitch about? What? With fucking Street Fighter. That was that was a fucking. That was kind of bad. That, that was, was kind of bad. That was bad because of a. Uh, okay, I mean, like, granted, back then the same thing applies. Like, you know, back then the story wasn't really inherent in front of it. You know, you if you like, you can imagine some Hollywood jackass like, hey, you know, I'm gonna play through the every arcade mode to get the story. No, he was some guy like, hey, the kids love this shit. I'm gonna make a fucking movie out of this shit. Yeah, the '90s make a movie. Okay, out of so so you know, <laughs> so of course, so you know. All the stories are half ass backwards. You know, Barog in the games, he's a bad guy. Yeah. E Honda's a good guy. Freaking Zane Hughes a good guy. Mm -hmm. And instead in the movies, you got them all backwards. You know? E Honda that... was a bad guy? No, E Honda's a good guy, but Zane Gifu was a bad guy. Oh. So was DJ and freaking and. Uh, Wait, DJ and... was a bad guy. There's no such thing as a bad DJ unless no, he's a natural no, bad DJ. No, it's a bad DJ. Everybody knows Krillix. No, but, um. <laughs> but he's a... uh, Would you say he's a bad DJ? I don't know. I don't really listen to DJ ness. I don't yeah. DJ DJ. You know, I'm, we listen. We have we listen to trip hop music, chill hop music, whatever. But it's not. We don't really sit there and listen to DJs. I mean, it's not really that. I mean, we're not EDM dancing. I mean, the only DJ I would actually listen to was just Dean, and no one knows about that guy. DJ Dean. DJ Dean. DJ Dean. DJ Dean. <laughs> Beat up the mix. A anyway, and anyway though, so like you know that game, that movie had like all kinds of backwards ass things. I mean, freaking for fuck's sake, Guile was played by John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> you right. All right. For people who don't know, don't get the irony, let's say it slower so they can so the now our generation get it. You get it because when you know you have a Frenchman play an American, I believe it's not self gratifying for the the character's first development. But that, I, I digress. He had an American flag tattoo in the movie. <laughs> of course he did. Of course see, he did. he's not French, he's American, fucker. <laughs> we all know each other. Oh, man, but then, see, we're talking through the eyes of, like, actual gamers who, like, hey, hey you know, that's not a video fighting game story. So if you watch it as a movie, you're like, hey, this shit is goofy as fuck. As a movie, it was... It was it still was, goofy as it fuck. It was goofy as fuck. Double fucking dragon! Mm. Oh my god, I forgot about Double Dragon. Okay, for people who don't know, we were talking about this topic right oh. before the cameras. 
before the microphone was on. Yeah, we had our pads out. And we were talking about this stuff, and we totally skipped out on Double Dragon. We were just comparing our, our, <laughs> our All right, so, snacks. So, so, okay, well, what kind of thing you got with Double Dragon, man? I mean, like, oh, my God, dude. If you want to think about the 90s and 90s movies <laughs> and, and 90s youth, it's literally fucking Double Dragon. Uh, All the stupid um, ideas of movies, boom. Shitty fucking fighting, boom. Kids doing stupid shit and saying, radical, boom. Magical fucking powers, boom. A hot Wait, fucking what? broad there, boom. Oh. Who, who looks kind of... Um, familiar? Hey, not familiar, what's her name? She, she, was, um, she was awesome, dude. She was a like, cookie girl. Nowadays, you... Uh, Milano cookies. No, not that, I'm just saying, what? Yeah. I'm just saying it was, a, it was a bad and good movie because it showed the 90s. <laughs> and that's a good and bad thing. That's a good and bad thing because, you know, if you go be like fucking Double Dragon's convoluted as fuck already, because Americans got like, hey, one Double Dragon's good, one Double Dragon's bad. In Japan, they got that shit like, hey, oh, wait, these guys that? are brothers and we're kicking Also, ass. the brothers were hunks. Oh, they're, just, they're real hunks. They actually, the brothers were hunks. Them, isn't one of them a they fucking, were studs. Isn't one of them an actual like big actor now? I don't know. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this shit right now. I'm gonna search this stuff up. Research, research, research. Searching to read. But yeah, what's called? Yeah, you know, you got Double Dragon, and then you got freaking. I gotta put a Double Dragon movie on this. <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. Double what Dragon. Other, wait, what other uh, movie came out in the nineties? Uh, in the night of, uh, you gotta talk about the original Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. the Rubber Derp. Yeah, the movie where everyone just every time the intro song started, you just. Did oh, a dude, dance, that, but there you go. You there, 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 there's the DJ I listened to. The DJ guy who just played like, fucking Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Commit to hurting each other. Begin the the ramp the rumbling. Kano. Okay, now let's cut. Uh, what? Getting back to that, imagine being in a fucking club back in those times, right. and that music comes out, and everyone's like, "Yeah!" But you oh, think dude, about you it, gotta, you gotta think of freaking what year? What year was Mortal Kombat the first? The first Mortal Kombat movie? I know, but like back in the day, raves were not like like they're not like uh like like nowadays where it's it's based off uh, synth. And, oh you know, yeah, no 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 no. Freaking no, back no. then, it's like ever seen the freaking movie Blade? Yeah. That was. Fucking oh yeah, they're like. All that shit. You go in, and you're like, holy shit! I think I got a, a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to jump into a fucking matrix. But with E, you feel like you are the music. <laughs> you are the music? Fucking people running around. You think Dude, you know me. You know me. Then I could feel the fourth dimension's yellow. <laughs> Damn, ninety-five. That was Mortal Kombat. The Mortal Kombat was... Hey, but, but you see, out of all the movie games, the original Mortal Kombat kind of got closest to its original. Oh, it, it did. I mean, it actually yeah. stays close, really close to Source to material. The, to its ori- to, to original Mortal Kombat. And people liked it. I mean, people I liked, liked it. it. Well, I loved it. I loved it. It's like, whoa, dude. It's like, hey, this dude kind of looks like Luke Kane in real life. I'm not sure. Whatever happened to that actor, dude, anyway? I have no idea. Luke King? Yeah, he, he was like some Asian dude. He was in a couple movies. He, he was in, in a bunch of movies, but I never Beverly saw him past the 90s. Ninja? Yeah, I remember that's the only thing that comes to mind. <laughs> that's the only one that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. He, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> what happened to that guy? I don't know. I don't know. Reach out to us. If you could, combat, dude. If uh, for the 30 of you who are listening, hopefully he's not, you know, yeah. someone who keeps right. on re- refreshing and shit. Stop refreshing. For the third of you who are listening, you gotta tell us what did he do because we could do it right now, but I'm about to finish my beer. This guy's balls deep yeah. in scotch, and we just don't want to research. Yeah, we're not gonna. Man, it's, I, I mean, just looked Luke up Kang, where have you movie. gone? Where have, where Chris have, Brown, where put him down. Yeah, right. So you know, after that, you know, you got Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which was a fucking cheese fest of CGI and fuck on this. The CGI looked like it was fucking uh, I think Land I, of the Lost. I think I, I think I know where fucking um where Luke King went. I think that was like his last movie or something. Probably. Because that was like that, his Dude. career had to go gone to the shitter after that. Again, one. the CGI. Well, am I the only I, one that noticed that fucking Sonya went from fucking crazy bitch, fucking like hardcore bitch, to fucking Billy Madison's girlfriend? That was Billy Madison's girlfriend. Yeah, remember on fucking the second one. It's good licorice. That is good licorice. Mm. It goes good with scotch. It does. You know, um, some, some now Johnny thinking about Watt. yeah, it is her. Yeah, it is but, her. Yeah, she on the second one. Yeah, but it's Hollywood back in the yeah, day. Yeah, back in the day, you could just yeah. interswitch people like Raiden. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> huh. he totally looks like the fucking Highlander. I know, but okay, back back to that CGI. I mean, I literally think the guys at Atlanta Lost did a better job doing that chicken shit fucking 
whatever the hell you would call it, stop animation. Stop, oh, yeah, stop motion animation. <laughs> and uh, that, that shit. And uh, the. Hey, 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 no, stop motion animation, dude. That, that dude is good, man. I mean, them skeletons and freaking Argonauts, dude. Land them, of the Lost. Them skeletons were fucking scary. From what? From Jason and Argonauts. You know, the, that old movie fucking with the Clado skeletons and. Uh, nope. No, no. Seen a, you're, you're not a old school movie buff, huh? See, I'm not a movie buff in general. I oh. mean, if I watch it, I watch it because of HBO, but... Well, God damn it. You know, I want to watch movies, but... Well, people, God damn it. But all 30 of our fucking people are not pledged to our non-existing Patreon. God damn so it, I where the fuck is around. a Geo dude at? That guy's good at movies. He would know what the fuck I'm talking about. He would tell me the clay to animation guy. Whole point is Mortal Kombat 2 sucks. Geo dude. <laughs> so fucking... Uh, anyway. Yeah, where does he come? Bro, come back. We miss back. you. We miss you. You know, me and my scotch are just, you know... We're just sitting here. W wanting to figure out what there's happened to cold, fucking Luke Kang? There's a cold bang in the fridge for you still. Come back. Does he like bangs? I don't know. We gave him a bang that day. Oh my god, there's an insect in my foot. <laughs> no, there's not. There's an insect that's in my... That's protein. That's an insect in my scotch. That's protein. And he's wasted. That's protein. It's protein. Anyway, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, so, you know, after that, you know, fucking... We're not doing the research, but I'm pretty sure there was a drought of video game movies after that because everybody was like that. Just the fly is dead. Peep, peep, people. People were like, he's drunk. <laughs> people like, you know, like Hollywood was all like, hey, video games are not a good medium to make movies out of. So they're so wrong. But, you know, so I took like what? Some odd, like, what's Mortal Kombat Annihilation? 96, 97? 96, I don't know. All right, so for between there and there, you know, you got things like a uh, fucking like. But then shit went down. I don't know, man. I mean, to me. I think video game. I mean, some video games are so damn good you can't put them in a movie. No, no, hell no. It's like it's but, like putting a movie with damn them. Especially that nowadays, video games are like hour long things. Yeah. I mean, you can't put that into like two hours. You um, gotta put a whole universe behind it, and then not only that, you have to bank on the first one getting good in order to continue that universe. Not only that, I mean, some again, some of the some creators are really, really they hold on the properties. I mean, if you look at Valve and Half Life. Multiple um, uh, studios, studios tried, and he's and you know Gabe was like, no, this is what no. Ironic, <laughs> ironic now how that could probably work now because he seems to not give a fuck about Half Life anymore. It's true, but he's still not gonna say I'm gonna have this. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know who could do um, a Half Life movie to be honest. Let me think. Uh, you need somebody who be subtle because Half Life isn't like up in your face like action. So you you know none of the Marvel guys would be able to do that shit. Yeah, it has to be slow to us. It has to be slow. So you yeah, you're looking slow. at uh, so Uwe Bone's gone. We'll say that. Uwe Bone's gone. Yeah, <laughs> he, he can't trip over, trip over a fucking rock without exploding, so he can't be there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no Michael Bay. We don't need explosions. Oh, there you go, Michael Bay. I meant Michael Bay. Uh, Uwe Bone should not touch. Uh, uh, automatically. Uh, okay. Like, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so oh my touching God. with that. Uwe Bone. Oh God. The bane of video game music. Video games. No, that's not music. Video games. God damn, the Scotch game to be quick. All right. No. Uh, fucking. Um, Who's Scotch and what, what does he do for a living? Uh, uh, <laughs> nah. Anyway, what's it called? Yeah, Uwe Bone made terrible that like that was the gap after Mortal Kombat Annihilation you thought hey maybe the next time somebody makes a video game movie it's not gonna be bad nah, you know then you get fucking anything made by Uwe Bone anything like fucking, anything fucking uh and the comment section probably gonna tell me hey it's Bo B-O-W-E not Bone I call him Uwe Bone I mean Bone you gotta understand about this. House of the Dead the two guys would probably, you know, say shit about you, which is what you would have... It's probably our old no. fucking accounts talking shit to our own fucking thing. Yeah, but the thing is, if you think about it, you're fucking arguing about the spelling of a shitty director. There's nothing you can do better in life. You could literally just fucking sit down hey, 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 and fart hey. on ants. Hey, bro. <laughs> actually, no, 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 keep talking about him, because if he sees this and he wants to challenge us to fight, that's probably more views than fucking we actually have right now. All right. I'll fight you in a boxing match. <laughs> well, let's do it, bro. Oh, wait, wait. Before we scoot, you fly anymore. me out of there to Ukraine or wherever the hell you're from, and we'll Germany. Fucking... Germany. Guys, they pay him. Like, from Germany. They pay him to make those movies, and over there, those movies are great. He's a fucking treasure. Over there. I bet you anything in German sounds fucking beautiful. That being said, imagine that if in German it sounds so awesome that the English fucking translation butchers it. That being said, fucking um. Oh, have shit. you fucking, uh, have you seen, I mean, of course you've seen House of the Dead. Have you seen any of his other movies? Yeah, I've seen uh, Alone in the Dark. And I, Alone and I didn't, at, when I first saw him, like, this is fucking bad. I thought, I, 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 thought, I thought Alone in the Dark was a sci-fi movie. Like, you know, like those sci-fi movies. Yeah, that's all movies. bad. I know, I know. When I saw that shit, I said, Uwe Bone, like, wow, this is a bad movie. I'm not going to not say House of the Dead was 
um, any better than this piece of shit. House of the Dead is when he, what happens when a bunch of fucking <laughs> college students from fucking 19th century fucking uh, LSD generation fucking make a bad game from source material they got from a fucking used up condom wrapper, and then he made a, a game, and he just spin, spin the camera, add some zombies, and boom, you got some whoa, whoa, fucking whoa, whoa. House of the Dead was a great game. The movie was terrible. This, this, I mean, like, you, you give, I mean, the moment they grab guns, they start flipping and shit. Yeah. It's like a fucking two-year-old's fucking wet dream. What were we talking about, the game or the movie? The movie. <laughs> okay, good. No, the game has something to do with fucking, like, secret agents fighting some... some guy. Yeah. Yeah, and the movie just had some college kids trying to rave, and then they're like, Oh my god, we have guns, we're zombies. Time to do some Matrix shit. Literally, it's a Matrix shit. Yeah. People are in slow motion, backflipping. I like how the Matrix when they, created that. When they died, they the camera fucking spins around them, and then they fade away. Are you fucking kidding me? This was a better movie. Um, yeah, what's it called? Exactly, right? That's fucking, um... It's... It's stupid. Think about that shit. I mean, you fucking love the. Love I mean, the we can make, we could we could do sake, a whole dude. podcast on Uwe Bone movies: Blood Rain, Far Cry, fucking more Uwe Bone movies, fucking fucking Dungeon Siege. But we're not gonna do that because we're, not, we're trying to keep this kind Dungeon of Siege, Dungeon Siege. For real? Dungeon Siege, yeah. It's called in the name of the king of Dungeon Siege. Movie. Okay, that makes sense because if you think about it, Dungeon Siege is like that fucking wannabe ass fucking Diablo and you gotta fucking put the name there <laughs> but they did it yeah oh yeah we both did that shit too thanks to, uh, well fuck them I don't even like that so scene. you know in, be- in between those early 2000 messes of fucking movies you got the Pokemon movies now you could say oh that's anime that's okay so like hey that was me. hey you know what as kids we were all into that shit fuck it we went there we got the free Dragonite card I don't give a fuck and fucking, we were like, yeah, fucking Mewtwo. Fuck yeah. Mewtwo, fuck yeah. <laughs> At least that's how I was. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was more excited about the commercials because you know what was in the commercials for that movie? What? Batman Beyond the fucking movie. That's, that's just... Wait a minute. Well, you don't like Batman Beyond? Well, what came first, the game or the show? A Pokemon? Yeah. It was Pokemon, the right? Game. I mean, the, the game, right? The game. Okay. So I guess, uh... I mean, this is really it's to weird. The show. It's weird though because yeah. Yeah, the show it's, was the show. more anime. It wasn't the, no, the movie actually is based off the show. The show, the show was more anime. It wasn't about the game. Yeah. But I mean, in a sense, it's all about the games. Mm-hmm. You're collecting them all. You gotta catch them all. What I remember though from you those movies though them. was uh, you actually from I think it was Burger King. Yes, I think you could you call me wrong on this one, but on Burger King they gave King. you get a, a golden. Oh, those are cool. Card. I still have the Jigglypuff somewhere yeah. around here. Dude, my brother got a fucking uh, Charmander. Not Charmander. A um. We'll go to Charizard. Charizard, yep. I bet. Yep. I used to have the... I had all the cards that came when you went to the theater. When it went to part two, 2000, they give you an ancient Mew card. Ooh. I wish I held on to that motherfucker because it's probably worth a lot now. Is someone steal it? No. It's, you know you're a kid. Back then, you just fucking... Whatever happened to all your Pokemon cards, man? They're on a fucking box labeled Pokemon cards oh, in my room. Fuck me. Just like where my 64 is. Uh, as long know. as I don't let anyone else touch I that shit. I have a Pikachu safe. edition 64 in the garage, so... I know, it's covered with gerbil semen. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm sorry that those gerbils found Pikachu attractive. They're like, oh, I just had half a bottle of scotch and you're just looking like the cutest little rat. <laughs> I like your red cheeks. All right, so Pokemon the movies, you know, they're great. They're good. They kept making them until, like, fucking, they kind of just ran out, like, after, like, part three. Yeah, part, part three was the last theater one, right? I think so, but I think they might even have a new one. I grew out. up by that time. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon! It's a not Pikachu a game, story. it's an anime. <laughs> right? Fucking, actually, I think that is exactly what that one is called. What, a Pikachu story? No, it's like Let's Go Pikachu. Oh, those are the games. Either way, whole point is fucking, um, yeah, it's a Pokemon. I mean, like, you know, we're just th- throwing a list of movies out there, out there, honestly. Yeah, but, sure. I mean, uh, but, I mean, come on, do Tomb Raider, things like that. Um, some of the craziest things are the Resident Evil movies. They're those. still... They're still going. They're still still going? Yeah. Wow. She's still got one more in her, dude. Wow. Right? Um, see, those movies I liked and disliked because... <sighs> they didn't follow the, the fucking story yeah, of the games. at days. all. At but all. But saying why I like it is because... Um, uh, they're nice fan service. I mean, shit. So, yeah, holy shit, that's the fucking nemesis. I don't know who she is, but fuck, she's gonna fight that motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, the, the movies are not bad. They're not. Not but, sure. you know, they don't follow source material. But if you understand would, I, the source material, I though, would say the fifth movie is maybe kind of cheesy because, you know, that's when the, Jill had the whole spider thing that took over over. Like, the evil Jill thing from Final Fantasy. From, from, damn. 
Uh, From Resident Evil 5? Yeah. Fucking, you know how she I, got all that evil on that was, game? That was literally fucking fan service. Yeah, yeah, and then, then you see her and you're like, in real life, that looks stupid. Yeah. Well, you gotta understand about the in, the entirety of fucking Umbrella himself. I mean, <laughs> right? I mean, if you think about yeah. Albert Wesker, literally yeah. is a bad guy from Captain Planet. Fuck the human race. Let's make them all big. I'm uh, yeah, Chris. He's back. Damn it. Right? God damn you, Captain except Chris. Except that, except that on the on the movies they had fucking uh, Alice. Yeah. She's like a character that didn't show up on any of the games, but like hell, they made a fucking awesome action hero out of her. What I like about the movies, fucking though. the chick from the Fifth Element. Fucking Mila. No, not Mila Kunis. It's fucking. Uh... No, I mean like Mila no. Makovic or some shit like that. Uh, fucking Mila Djokovic. There you go. Djokovic. But anyway, her. Hotness. Yeah, she's hotness. She's fucking. She uh. Um... She hasn't aged a bit out. Actually, I think she had a kid recently. That's why it's taken so long for the last one to come out. Well, let her have her kid. You let know, her have her kids. Have their kids. Instead of give her some tits. <laughs> 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 but anyway, uh, no, 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 but anyway, yeah, the Resident Evil movies are still going on, they're fucking great, they're fucking, so, I uh, mean, not every ba- game uh, game movie comes out bad, I mean, majority of them are, I mean, Tomb Raider just came out. What about I mean, The Legend of Zelda? That, you know damn well that's not gonna happen. You gotta have The Legend that's of Zelda. That's not gonna happen. That's like having a 13 movie. Actually, they had a 13, two 13 shows. See, they could have two 13 shows, but not a fucking sequel. Right? Now, before anyone says, but they're, they're fucking shows, they're not games. Games cost money to make. Yeah, because sh- fucking shows don't. Yeah, it's not like fucking Xbox tried to make a game that had a game and a show that you had to watch just to watch that. That happened, didn't it? You just don't like Microsoft. We can, we can both agree this. You, you can go to Michael and apologize later. I'm, I don't care. No, I'm excited for the Halo fucking show that's coming out in Showtime this freaking year, I think. Yeah? Yeah. That's a real thing. You know, the adventures of Master Chief. Master Chief and You me. know, he's going to jump out of a tree. Gummy bears here and there and jumping everywhere. That's the wrong thing and that's the wrong song and that's the... Hey, you know what? Disney did Prince of Persia. <laughs> That's a horrible transition, god damn it. Well, that was a Disney So what, did, so did Disney really no, fucking... It, do you know what, hold on, I, I've been needing to look at this. Uh, Prince of Persia movie. This is why you don't make fucking, uh... Oh, and he also made ass, uh, the also was an Ass Creed movie. Hey, it's two Ubisoft oh, movies. Oh, yeah, right? Two Ubisoft movies, oh, right Oh, well, technically, um... Would you say, uh, from that Ubi Bowen movie, what's, what's that shit called? Uh, uh, Far Cry? Far Cry. Would you count that as a new... No, no, no. Well, that isn't a Wii Bond movie, no matter what you uh, no, say. No, it is a new Wii Bond movie, but what you call it Ubisoft? Because... Uh, I mean, they're not... I mean, technically, when it comes to movies, I mean, it's like... I mean... Hey, te- this is a fucking Disney movie, and this... I mean... I, I, why, why can't I figure out the I don't know, but, like, I think, we... um... That was still when, uh... Come on... Crisis yeah, Disney, was, Walt Disney Crisis, fucking... Uh, Far Cry videos. was for Crytek or something. And that's some sad shit, because, I mean, like, unfortunately, to make a long-ass story... Because video games are long. Mm-hmm. Video games have lots of hours, not just two. Yeah. To be able to do that in freaking... In a game, movie, well, for Prince of Persia, so for instance. Well, I think you could do... Prince I mean, Persia. unfortunately, the first one flopped. Yeah. So, therefore, there was no sequel. I mean, Maybe. come on, because, I mean, I've seen the movie. It's actually pretty good. It's not that bad. It's fucking Prince of Persia. It's, I mean... But, you know, back then... Wait, th- wait. This was back then when, like, video games and real life... Were... Whoa, wait, wait, what year was Prince of Persia, though? Prince of Persia was... 2010. 2010? Yes. And that's past fucking 11 prior big hatred and shit. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but you gotta remember, it's just like that. People were still kind of itchy about it. Nowadays, games and fucking everyday people are together. I mean, hell, fucking, you gotta. Uh, I know I'm gonna mess this guy's name up, like Kendrick Lamar or one of those, one of those guys, yeah, yeah. one of those rapper guys playing Fortnite, and everybody's into that shit now. Everybody knows who what Fortnite is. Everybody, I know what Fortnite is. This I don't is play you, Fortnite. This is how you know. When, uh, I, you know, no, I knew Fortnite when it was a player versus. When it was a PVE game. Not a fucking, hey, let's fight 100 people thing. Okay. But what I'm saying is now, I mean, like, now if Prince of Persia would have released, maybe it would have gotten better. Especially with the backing of Disney. Fortnite the game? No, I'm talking about Prince of Persia. Oh, Prince of Persia. Um, oh, God, I hope there's not a Fortnite I would game. Say, what story are you going to fucking I would grab say no. That? Because the popularity of fucking Assassin's Creed overshadowed it. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And they actually made an Assassin's Creed You know too. Assassin's Creed started out at the Prince of Persia game? Yeah. Prince of Persia Assassins, and then it became Assassin's Creed? Yeah, 
well, I mean, that's true. The, the Assassin's Creed games weren't that good. You know, the guys who created Assassin's Creed said that they loved the way they kind of made the, the animus, the thing that mm-hmm. takes them back. They, they loved the idea of the way they did it. They're like, hey, the movie did that shit better than we did. <laughs> Because, you know, because on the movie, it's like, he's connected to that shit. He's back flipping and he's moving on that shit. Yeah. So that's how he relived, like, the life in there. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I heard, I, I haven't really seen so the movie myself. So it's a good job. I mean, it, it looks kind of man myself. Man, well, the so. thing is, once you shave off all the fucking side quests and all that, it's practically the same thing. That's I mean, true. It's games where, um... I mean, you could make games with that had, you know, with a number system. I mean, like, let's say there's a Quake 14. You know what? A Quake game. Quake movie? Yeah. I mean, not game. What the hell am I saying? Well, Quake movie would be awesome. I mean, but what's the story there? Quake. Oh, well, well, the original Quake had a story. That's true. Yeah, and Quake and story. dude, Quake is virus. That's that's like fucking. Think virus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get what yeah. you're saying. I like that movie. Virus is the shit. It's a fucking creepy movie. Yeah, but imagine it's, that. It's like militarized. 2001. It's fucking space odyssey, except that the fucking computer could move. Hmm. It is, isn't it? Space odyssey, but the computer could move. You know, like. I know, but like, everyone do that for you. I know, but fucking like, virus, the whole fucking. Everyone whole gets shit. converted into fucking cyborgs. If anything, it's Star Trek, whatever. It's Star Trek Nemesis <laughs> mixed with 2001. My god, I went to my Scotch too damn fast. No one floats in a damn th- th- space. <laughs> Captain Picard, yeah, I know you're coming back one day. Supposedly they're gonna do like a sequel to that. To so what? Star Trek. I'm not even a Trekkie. I don't know these things. Well, dude, I'm not a Trekkie either. Oh, okay. He, this is how much I... Uh, you can even fucking quote me in this one. Quote the me. way you can tell I'm not a Trekkie is my favorite Star Wars one was fucking the the, the pilot. Oh, dude, that was totally awesome when the guy fought the blizzard, man. What? <laughs> no, the pilot. We're, 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 um... The guy goes to fucking his planet, right? He's in his planet, and uh-huh. there's, you, you see this one lady, and he's trying to survive, and in the very end... She's actually, she was fucked up and aliens helped her and, and it was a really good fucking pilot. And you I know, thought, this uh, is Star, Star Trek, fuck me, I want to watch the show. Then I watched the actual Star Trek, I'm like, nope. <laughs> and yeah, you know, they're not fans of Star Trek. Yeah, I, I mean, like Star Trek. I mean, I can I see why, I mean, I've seen a couple, a I've keep seen a couple shows of Star Trek, not that bad. It's not bad, it's, it's just, bad. you know. I'm not going to be, co- I'm not going to be a Trekkie, I'm not a Star Wars freak. I know a lot about Star Wars. Yeah. Unfortunately, they, they, you know what? That, that's a whole topic for a different show. Yeah, Trekkies versus Trekkies fucking. Trekkies versus uh, Trek. Trekkies Wars, versus Wars, uh, war fans. War fans, yeah. I don't know what, you, what would you call a Star Trek? But, uh, no, Star Wars. Fan. Oh, wait, either way, either way. I don't know what they what you would either call way, them. By the know last, what they have. the last <laughs> couple game movies that came out. Ratchet and Clank and uh-huh. fucking and uh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's definitely the last movie that just came out. Video that's game. recent, right there. Um, I mean, I've never seen it. I don't know if it's any good. I really can't tell you. You want the ones before that were pretty good. I'll, I'll say the new one was pretty good. You seen the movie? Okay. Yeah, I see it's pretty good. Uh-huh. But believe it or not, the thing I heard the most about it was from my cousin when we were watching it. All I hear is bomb, bomb, fine, would fuck, bomb, bomb. <laughs> oh my god! He did not fucking let up of how hot she was, man. I loved it, man. I, I mean, like, <sighs> I loved it. That call was just me so a, funny. Call me a thing. I mean, like. She's hot in a certain way. Yeah. But she doesn't look like the Laura Croft you see in the games. It's really hard to fucking... It's hard to pinpoint. She has kind of like a... Eh, it's too skinny. I can't believe you're doing this stuff. No, I just still think... You really gotta learn how to fight. But first of all... Um... It makes sense because... She... In the beginning of the movie, she could do certain shit. Yeah. Like the game. Like the reboot game. Yeah, but the thing is... It, when you see the fucking... In the game, it's like you shoot one brought up. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. With the movie, she actually struggled throughout the, not throughout the whole whole movie, but she she actually had limitations and she was trying to go against them, right, but right, she right, fucked right, up right. because of them, two of them. Yeah. So I would say it's not like like holy shit, the greatest movie ever made, but it does a really good job for the series and a good job as a movie itself. But I couldn't tell because to my to my right, when my, my cousin was, like, was the same bomb bomb yeah, bomb, yeah, bomb, yeah pipe yeah. pipe pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, right? But it was a good. I would say it's a good movie though. Yeah, all right, all right. Nice. I gotta watch that shit. It's a nice popcorn movie, now. Yeah, it's a summer nice popcorn flick. Movie. Everybody loves popcorn summer flicks. This is summer 2018, and I can't think of anything that's coming out right now. The Rock movie. The Rock movie. Oh, you mean fucking action movie? The action movie? No, action movie with no fo- uh, no foot and skyscrapers. In other words, Die Hard. Nope. With The Rock in it. Nope, because The Rock. I mean, because Bruce Willis had both his legs in that movie. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The Rock doesn't have any legs in that movie. He has one good leg and one club leg. He's a paraplegic. Oh. Not paraplegic. He's um, 
He just doesn't have a leg, so he has this. Oh, there's this awesome dude at my gym that goes that has, that has both his legs blown off, and that guy is freaking. Oh shit! What's the story? I don't know. I haven't talked to him yet. That guy's awesome. Shout out to you, guy awesome, who probably doesn't listen to our podcast. I bet he does. He's if like, he does, that guy's awesome. He's like, you guys are awesome. I, I think what you guys are saying are awesome. And the fact that you acknowledge me is really awesome. Nice, right? Then. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Uh, no, that's about it for video game movies. I mean, there's, I mean, like you know, you go back, you watch freaking. Oh wait, just this one little thing. The Mario Brothers movie was not that fucking bad. Shut the fuck up, because you guys might watch My Pretty Pony. Shut the fuck up. It was a good movie. Shut the fuck up. Who doesn't love John Leguizamo? <laughs> right? <laughs> now, let's go watch fucking Masters of the Universe for the last time. Masters of the Universe! Wait, that's an actual... That's a cartoon based the movie. Oh, that's something. a different thing. I don't. We don't have a movie podcast. We need a movie podcast. We need a new movie podcast with Jude. Wait, it's, it's fucking Geodude. Where the fuck are you? We need you for a movie podcast. Well, he's not our engineer. We don't put him in a retainer. We don't... We, we right? Don't, freaking... Yeah. Even Pablo... It's, it, no, it's, it, 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 we yell at too many people. They don't even show up anymore. Remember Tim? Hey, it's, dude... I think he's up there somewhere. I, th- I think he went back into space. He got tired of our shit. Well, to be honest, we, uh, I kept on smoking him out. Yeah. He was like, what the hell is this? I'm like, fine, I'll just go for it. The only one that <laughs> sticks around is that bald guy who keeps crying about everything. He cry, he cry me a fucking river. But it's okay, we're gonna have we're gonna have a reunion with these guys. They always come with right? pizza and coke, so it doesn't right? matter. Exactly, right? Alright, so that's about it for the show. You wanna call it? Uh, you wanna call it? I'll call it. Alright then, T- turn off. Okay, so I got this idea, right? Okay. Um... I saw this in Jackass where one of the guys, he put a bottle up his ass and did a handstand. Or was it a beer bong? But anyway, you get drunker that way. Now, my proposal is we open a fucking bar, right? Uh-huh. You know, without a liquor license. But shh, don't tell the government. They're never going to find out anyway. Oh, man. It's all right. Just, it's but this awesome. time with wood grain alcohol and all that illegal shit. Dude, shut up, dude. Before the liquor license people find out about what the fuck we're doing, man. The liquor license people, I, I want to do handstands and drink like a crazy ass li- well, fuck it, If we don't got a liquor license, we can't do that, man. We need a liquor license so we can do some well, sexy handstands. We're going to get drunk with a fucking bottle. Just one goddamn. Liquor, light.